Hello everyone, Bahamar here with a addition to episode 7. Um, so since episode 7 has gone live, several people have pointed out that I made a mistake in the configuration handler, and rightly so, because I did. Uh, as well as there's something else I wanted to quickly show you uh, involving the run configurations uh, with 1.7.10. So let's quickly fix what went wrong with the configuration handler. So you guys have probably noticed that when you load up your um, config folder after running Minecraft, so let me just bring this window over here and I'll run this, um, that there wasn't anything in the file. It was just a blank file. And the reason for that is because uh, twofold. One, we never actually registered that our configuration handler was listening to these events properly as well as we uh, never actually initially load the configuration as well. So you notice here nothing is in here. Oh, and there's that music again. I should turn that down. That should be much better. And if you look in here, we have an empty file. So how do we fix that? Or what should I have done right the first time? You need to register your configuration handler on the event bus. So the event bus is, uh, there's two of them, there's one for FML and there's one for Forge. Um, the event bus is where all events um, get fired from and where they get passed to any class that said, hey, I want to listen to this event because I want to do things. Um, to know which event bus you want to put your uh, class on or register to, um, you always want to look at the event itself and see whether it is an FML event or whether it is a Forge event. So in this case, it's an FML event. So I'll show you how you can add it to the FML um, event bus. So after our configuration handler init line inside of our Let's Mod Reboot mod class, we are going to do FML common handler instance bus register new configuration handler. Register in this case takes an object um, which will be the class that's uh, it's a class that has the subscribe events in it with the, um, the proper event as the parameter. So you're basically saying hey FML I want you to register that this class uh, is listening to things on the bus. Additionally we also need to make sure that when uh, the configuration is initialized, we actually load the values the first time. So I'm actually going to change this load configuration event down here to a private static. I should have made it private to begin with um, because it is only going to be called within this class. And inside this, if configuration is null block, I'm going to load the configuration. So the two changes, we've registered the class on the FML event bus, and we have loaded the configuration we start up. So let me show you. I will delete this. I will run Minecraft again. So you see, Let's Mod Reboot now has a file size of one kilobyte. It has our entry in it. And if we were to come to Mods, you'll see that it's uh, now loaded in here. It does now have the proper default value. It also has the proper tooltip, which both were wrong in the last episode. So that fixes the configuration handler. So once again, guys, be sure to don't do like I do you want to register and load. The second thing I wanted to show you was uh, in the event that some of you uh, are not hearing Minecraft sounds once you've updated a 1.7.10, there are some additional things you need to add to the program arguments for your run configuration. So for IntelliJ users, let me go over this again. Uh, you can click the run configuration in the top right, hit edit configurations, make sure you're on, you only need to to do this for the Minecraft client, uh, just so make sure it's selected. You need to add this asset index 1710. So it's hyphen hyphen asset index space 1710. 
then you also need to specify the assets directory. So the parameter name is hyphen hyphen assets dir space and then the value you put in there is the path to your Gradle folder, your global Gradle folder, caches Minecraft assets. The global Gradle folder is the folder that's actually inside of your user space, your user directory. So if you look in here, there's my .gradle, caches, Minecraft, assets. When you set both of these, if you are finding that you are not getting Minecraft sounds, you will want to set these. Uh, then after you've done this successfully and you've hit uh, OK, when you load up Minecraft, you should notice you, that you do get your Minecraft sounds again. So, two things uh, I missed in the last episode. I'm sorry for that, guys. Uh, hopefully this clears it up, and we'll see you in the next episode for dealing with items. And why don't we just let this show and let it play its lovely music. Yeah, you can hear the clicky. Anyway, see you next time in the, in the items video. Take it easy, guys.